Well, hello again. Another day of working on the trailer. And you are looking at the back end without the bathroom wall and without the closet wall. So the whole back end has been cleaned out. And that is awesome. Now I can finish up the ceiling. I'm going to do that and close up the ceiling real well and um, fix just a few more things that I keep finding like right up in here I gotta fix that uh, put some wires together we're good we're good other than that we are good everything seems to be just hunky-dory looking well I'm gonna clean this place out real well now that I got everything out of here and try to do the floor if I can get that floor done that'd be awesome so it's gonna just be a chore to get everything out of here so with that I mean I mean I gotta take up this floor hopefully it'll come up fairly easy clean it up get all the nails out screws out patch up any type of little holes things like that so that's what I've got to do so you're looking at the back end on the floor and now the front end of the floor and see I still got this kitchen cabinet to get out of here I gotta do something with it I just I just can't fit it through the door opening that's the problem I can't fit it through the door opening and I'm debating whether I'm gonna take it out or not so just a tough situation tough situation here what I'm gonna do but anyways, uh, I'm going to continue with some insulation. Maybe I won't get to the floor. I'm going to get to some insulation. I'm going to get to uh, lots of different things. i got so many things that I need to do. So anyways, just wanted to give you a look-see at what I'm doing. And I am working today, Sunday. And I'm going to continue to hit it, hit it hard. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, well, as you can see, I turned down the lights because I worked into the night. It is done for the for the most part on the insulation. Front's done, as you can see. The other thing that aren't obviously not filled in with insulation are windows and vents. Uh, this section right in here is because I have a window that has to go in so I didn't want to put any uh, insulation in there and then take it all out because I have to do some work I there's a window that has to go in there I just ha haven't been able to find the measurements I know I have them tomorrow I'm gonna spend the time to find them get that window in so I can get it done and then I'm gonna put some skin on this thing As you can see, the back side's all done. I don't think the other side's gonna come out only because there's no light. No. No, you can't. You can't see it. No. No, you can't see it. So, but anyways, this side is done too. And again, the other thing that's not filled in with insulation oops insulation is the uh, door and windows there are no vents on this side so sorry that it got so late sorry that that's so uh, difficult to see uh, but I just got into it I wanted to get it done and uh, it's not too late thank goodness but uh, I gotta get in and rest. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Try to get this up in the morning so you guys can see it. Talk to you later, bye-bye. And one thing I just wanna point out, so right in here, this is where I did all my cutting, all my measuring, tape measure, marker, exacto knife, and just cut. And someone had asked me 
uh, how I kept the insulation in. The insulation is just slightly larger than the space it's going to fill. So I kind of squeeze it in there and just that alone holds it in place. And that's what you want. You want it to slide in a little bit tighter and that will hold it in place. That way it doesn't fall out when you can work around it, poke wires through it, things like that, and doesn't fall out of place. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.